I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. The laws of nature are written by the hand of God in the language of mathematics. To understand the universe, you must understand the language in which it's written, the language of mathematics. If you could see the earth illuminated, when you were in a place as dark as night, it would look to you more splendid than the moon. You may force me to say what you wish, you may revile me for saying what I do, but it moves. I do not feel obliged to believe that, the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us, to forego their use. Nature is relentless and unchangeable, and it is indifferent as to whether its hidden reasons and actions are understandable to man or not. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes, as if it had nothing else, in the universe to do. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know, and understand about them, the more positively, they attempt to argue concerning them. In the sciences, the authority of thousands, of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. See now the power of truth, the same experiment which, at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, assures us of the contrary. To be humane, we must ever be ready, to pronounce that wise, ingenious and modest statement, I do not know. They seem to forget that the increase of known truths stimulates the investigation, establishment and growth of the arts, not their diminution or destruction. In the future, there will be opened a gateway and a road to a large and excellent science into which minds more piercing, than mine shall penetrate, to recesses still deep, 